It's the first time members of this town's Christian community have been able to come to this church in more than two years. Some light candles and pray among the ruins of the church interior. ISIL has destroyed thousands of places of worship for religious minorities across this region. The Assyrian Christians in and around Mosul are a community that have lived here for nearly 2,000 years. Many speak a dialect of Aramaic, similar to the language spoken during the time of Jesus Christ. Around 30% of this village was Christian before ISIL arrived. They and the vast majority of the village's Yazidi and Muslim community fled in 2014. Uh, do the cross up. We uh, give the Daesh message. We still uh, believe Jesus Christ. We still believe the cross. And by cross, we uh, uh, do everything in our belief. An improvised explosive device lies close by. ISIL pulled the cross off the roof. It lays broken on the ground. When I hit Muslim, I hit uh, Jerusalem, I hit uh, Jerusalem. Not, I, that means I not love God. My God is love, everyone. We hope to come back again. The other church in town has been ransacked too. The altar has been smashed, the pews broken, hymn books lie among the rubble. These are family tombs that ISIL broke into. Now the Peshmerga and the priest here say that ISIL were looking for money, looking for valuables, jewellery. And as you can see here, there's not a single grave that they haven't defaced. ISIL fighters shot at photographs of the dead on the gravestones. It saddens me deeply. This is my father's grave. There is no religion in the world that allows this. ISIL don't even respect the dead. A new cross is put on the roof. Priests sing prayers as a blessing. The battle for Mosul continues. And this church bell rings out once more. Charles Stratford Al Jazeera, Bahazan, Northern Iraq.